In this video, you will learn how to send email from Google Sheets. To start the configuration, first, we will mention some names and their respective email address in a Google Sheet and will copy its URLs. Once you have copied the URL, then you have to go to the Lido.app and have to create your account first. You can get the link from the description below. If you will register for the Lido application from our link and leave a comment there, then you will get a 15% discount for the next 12 months. Next, you need to go to the New Files option shown to the top right corner. Here the interface of the Lido app sheet will open to you. You need to go to the Connect Data and have to click on the Google Sheet option. Right here, you have to paste the copied sheet URL and then click on the Connected to Google Sheets button. Here, it'll ask you for the authorization of the account, so you need to choose an appropriate account and have to click on the Continue button twice. Once it's done, the successfully connected to Google Sheet text will appear to you. So, you need to click on the Next button for further procedure. From here, you have to choose how many entries you want to sync and click on the Add Data option. Like here we have taken two entries, one for name and another for email addresses. That's why only names and email addresses will update in the sheet automatically. Here, it'll ask you for the table name. So you have to give an appropriate name to your sheet accordingly before click on the Save button. As you can see here, all the entries has been filled within the same format and sequence in Sheet 2. For further, we'll go to Sheet 1 and we'll click on the three-dot icon next to the sheet name and we'll select the rename option and we'll give it the name Email Template. Here, you need to create two columns A1 and A2 with the text subject and body respectively. Plus, we'll add their respective content and template in B1 and B2 cells. This content and template will automatically take the username to which you are going to send the email. Now, we will go back to Sheet 2 and we'll apply the action formula. For this, we will go to the C1 cell and press equals SDRINGTMPLAT and press Enter to add the bracket opening and then go to Sheet 1 and select B1 cell. As the detail of the B1 cell along with the sheet name will appear in formula bar, we will add exclamation mark and dollar before cell name will add another dollar in between cell name along with the bracket close symbol. Next to this, we will copy this detail and come back to Sheet 1 and we'll add the copy detail in front of equals SDRINGTMPLAT and we'll press Enter. As a consequence, you can see that the subject for all the entries has been updated in the C column in Sheet 2. Next to this, we will rename the C column for this. We will click on the name of the C column, we'll give it an appropriate name, and click on the Save button. For further configuration, we will come back to the D column and we'll apply the action formula again, repeating the same method with the B2 cell of Sheet 1. As you apply the formula and press Enter, you will see that the template for all entries has been updated in the D column along with their specific name. One more time, we will replace the column name with body text. For this, we will click on the D1 cell and write the body in the column name section before clicking on the Save button. You can give it another name accordingly. Once it's done, then we will move toward the E column for further steps. Here, you need to apply the Singmail formula. For this, you need to type equals in the E column and then write send Gmail. As you press enter then the dialog box will appear with the text, connect to Gmail. Just as you click on the appearing text of the dialog box, the integration of Lido with Gmail gets started for which it'll ask you for the authorization procedure. So, you need to select an appropriate Gmail account and proceed further by clicking on the continue button. Here, you can see that the successfully connected to Gmail text is appearing. As you move back to your sheet, you will see that the authorized Gmail account is now appearing in the E2 cell next to the send Gmail text with the coverage of bracket. It means all the emails will be sent within this Gmail account. To move further, you have to put a comma next to your Gmail ID and have to mention B2, C2, D2, and F2 for further collaboration. Here, we have selected B2 to take the email address of the recipient, C2 for the subject, D2 for the email body, and F2 for the report of the sent emails. As you will close the bracket and press enter then the entire email template within the proper name, email ID, and body will shows you. Next to this, you need to click on the three dot button and have to click on the run actions button. You can see here that the email has been sent successfully to the particular receipts. Along with this, the report of the sent email has been updated in the F2 column as well. Once again, we will check it by clicking on the three dots of the E3 cell. But this time, first we will review the format of the email by selecting the preview email option from the drop-down. 
Here you can see that the format of the email is all set up just the way we did it along with the email address, subject, and body. So now, here you have two options to send the email, one is just click on the send email button, showing in the bottom right corner of the preview bar, and another is to click on the run action button from the drop down of the three did icon. So, this time we will move to the run action button from the drop dot icon of the three dot option. You can see the notification that the action runs successfully. The thing is here that the status of both columns F and E is showing success, which may be perplexing in some cases. So, to change it, we will select the E2 cell and click next to equals. Here we have mentioned that if the email is sent successfully then and the status success is updated in the F2 column then we will receive false in the E2 column otherwise will get true. Here, you will see send email formula instead of true just because true text will show to you only when an error occurs. The errors indicate that when you will send an email and that does not get sent to the recipient in real time then true text will show you. This will help us to avoid email repetition to the same recipient. Now, we will give a name to the F column called status. As we will put the status text there, it will show two options. One is computed column and the other is linked column. The linked column allows us to assign a unique ID via an ID column to each status column cell. That way, if your Google Sheet rows change order, the success status values stay stuck to the correct row as they follow their assigned unique ID. In this case, our unique ID column will be set to be the email address column. You need to choose the right one based on your requirements before clicking on the save button. Once we have clicked on the save button, we will move to do a verify check. For this, let me show you the sequence of this sheet's email addresses and we'll go back to our first spreadsheet. Here, we will change the sequence of the email addresses by putting the third one in the first position and we'll come back to the same sheet. As you will refresh the sheet, you will see the same changes in the email address sequence in this sheet as well. Once we made this, now, we will move toward making this process automated by adding the trigger. For this, we will click on the three-dot icon of the E5 column and click on the Add Column Automation option. As you can see, the new automation section has been opened here, so you just need to put the values based on your requirements such as table, column, every minute, hour or seconds, etc. before clicking on the Save button. Once you will click on the Save button, the scheduled trigger's details will open up to you such as the sheet name, send email, and every five minutes. Together with it, it will give you the edit button option, so you can make the changes as well. To verify whether our trigger is working or not, we will move to further configuration. For this, we will add another email address to the first sheet and its email address as well. As you remember, we have scheduled the trigger for every five minutes from which three minutes are pending. Once the five minutes are completed, the trigger will automatically send the email to the newly added email address. And you can see that the status has been updated on the sheet as well. You can also see the notification from the right side corner. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more such feeds.